Hi, I'm Cassie Veith, and this is video three in the Diastasis Recti Repair video series. And if you're new, please don't skip videos one and two. They're essential to locating, activating, stretching, and relearning how not to continue to exacerbate the situation. So take your time through videos one and two. Now for this third video, I want to give you three new exercises and revisit the cat and cow. In the cat and cow, uh, you already are familiar with that, but I'd like you to learn how to deepen the stretch. So you'll be on your hands and knees and you'll do the cat and of course the cow. All right, but when you do the cat, continue to tuck your tailbone under, drop your head and then inhale. And as you shift your hips back towards your heels, walk your fingers away. Then I want you to experiment with lifting a shoulder, shifting into a hip, and then the other side, lifting the other shoulder, shifting into that hip. I think this is a really great and important extra way to deepen that stretch for those of you that have that anterior pelvic tilt. Uh, remember, we need to uh, bring this pelvis more to neutral by stretching these hip flexors, which leads me to the first new exercise, the hip flexor complex. So be on, let's see, I'll switch sides. Make sure you've got this nice 90-90 with a slight extra step forward. And I like you to shift your hips forward, lift an arm. Good. And then come back out of that, sink into that hip, and reach over. Making sure that your foot's not back here. Okay, have your foot forward. Shift the hips forward to stretch these hip flexors and rectus femoris. Coming back out, sinking into this hip and reaching over. That's another really essential stretch for those of you that have that uh, deep anterior pelvic tilt. Next, I want you to use a stability ball and lay on your back. What you'll want to do is you want to grip the stability ball with your heels up against your bottom. Press your low back into the floor and curl the hips up, taking care that you are pulling the belly button in towards your spine, curl, and do about 20 reps of those. And then finally, we'll do a hamstring stretch from the seated position. Okay, for the hamstring stretch, I'd like you to sit on the very edge, front edge of the seat and extend a leg. So from here, you'll want to arch your spine, keep it arched, and then just fold from the hips. Very good. And you should feel a nice stretch all the way down. If you're not feeling the stretch, you might be inadvertently rounding the back, which takes the stretch off the hamstring. So it's really important to arch your back, exhale, and get into the stretch. Now, word of warning, if you are one of these people that have this anterior pelvic tilt, just skip this exercise because your hamstrings are already pulled pretty tight. All right, so make sure you go through these exercises for about the next four weeks doing them diligently, and stay tuned, like, and subscribe so you get notified when video number four comes out for your next progressions.